approached Molly in the truck. She was in the very back of the cage. She was so afraid. Um, there was no of that, none of that beagle excitement or interest. You know, beagles are very interested in everything, and there was. She just was so scared and huddled and just wanted to hide. And it, it really just broke my heart. And picking her up, she just kind of went dead in my arms because she didn't understand what was happening and she was shaking and just holding her. I just thought that this is so preventable. Like, why are we doing this? These are living, breathing, beautiful animals, and they're so caring, they're so loving. And it just broke my heart. And what really, really got me was when. I put her down on the grass for the first time and she didn't know what to do. When I put my beagle at home on grass, she just runs around like crazy and enjoys the backyard and, and Molly just sat there and kind of was like, what is this, what do I do? And kind of crouched down and was scared of the humans and when you go to give them a treat, they don't want it because they, they're assuming the treat is coming before something terrible and it's just heartbreaking. To, to everyone I know, I've since been touting the Cruelty Cutter app because I've like rid my home of, of uh, products that aren't cruelty free and um, and I've, I've found that app really fun and really useful. It was unbelievable. I was shaking. I think like the energy from like everyone here today was really overwhelming like emotionally um, and I think that you know the Beagle Freedom Project um, has done so many great things and we're so great to be a part of today. It's very emotional. Um, it's amazing to see the dogs um, being brought in and um, they just looked as if they were very scared at first and unsure and then obviously it's the first time they've ever had grass underneath their paws for example. So to watch that and to see them look around and gradually become more and more sure and then start to run around, just that progression, yeah it's pretty incredible, it's pretty incredible. I'm incredibly grateful to Beagle Freedom Project for their groundbreaking work and their first organization to actually get animals out of laboratories. There's currently 65,000 dogs in United States laboratories for product testing. And guinea pigs, our first guinea pig rescue is today, our 75th rescue, so it includes five guinea pigs. We're excited.